Hi crafty friends, look at these cute little signs from Dollar General. So I had bought this stocking from Dollar Tree during the holidays because I loved, loved, loved the fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take it apart and use the fabric for this craft project. So I'm just using a little seam ripper here and just to um, remove the backing part. Now you saw there's like a little... Um, like another piece of fabric at the top with a little um, ribbon along it. I'm gonna actually take that off too because there's more of the striped fabric underneath and I need all the striped fabric that we can get for this. So I'll just save all these pieces because you just never know <laughs> when we might need them. Uh, I think I'm like the hoarder of craft supplies of all the things I'm like, oh, I should save this for later. <laughs> um, but once we get all of this done, then I was like, hmm, let me start cutting these apart to put on the back. And then when I made the last cut, I was like, Bonnie, you messed it up. Really, you guys, I didn't need to cut this apart and do them. I could have assembled all of the signs together and then just laid the whole thing over it and trimmed it and put it on there. But that's okay. So lesson learned here. <laughs> So I'm just going to use a little ink pad and we're going to do a little distressing on the front. I like the color of the edges. It's got a little bit of distressing of the white. So that's super cool. Um, like uh, this, blah, 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 can't even talk today. This totally reminds me of the farmhouse one we did the other day on the fabric, just because of the um, pig and all that stuff. So I thought, oh, this would look so cute with it. So what we're going to start doing now is um, putting each piece of fabric on. But again, I totally could have done this at the end. I uh, listen. When I made that second cut, I was like, oh, bunny. So I pretty much caused myself some more time, but that's okay. That's all right. So once we get that on there, I'm just going to trim on each side so that way it's just sitting on the back part of the frame so it doesn't stick through. And then we'll do that to the other two as well. Now I decided to put the three signs together. So what I'm going to do is just along that little edge, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and then I'm also going to use some really thin um, craft sticks to put across the, um, you know, to put them together just like as a little bit extra. And then I cut up some popple, pop, popple. I was going to say popsicle six, but that's craft sticks. Um, and put those as, uh, on the edge too. So it was like, did one um, horizontal and then two vertical just to hold it on there. I don't think it would go anywhere, honestly, because these are super duper lightweight, which is cool. I wish they had a fourth animal because I thought, oh my gosh, making a planter out of these would be super cute. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. I don't really need a fourth one. I could just do all eggs and then put out by my chicken coop. I don't know, just an idea. So here's where you can see I'm putting them together and really it's that easy. And you guys, you can see there, I took two of the hangers off of the other ones just so that I could get them all together. But I think this would be just adorable hanging in a kitchen or something like that. All right, so see that in between part between the fabrics? That's where I put the craft stick in and then along the sides too. So here's how it turned out, you guys. I just love this. That fabric was meant for this just meant for it. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow the page for more.